everybody. Looks like we've got a good group this morning. session for non-elected personnel with Doug Brown, Dr. Farmer, Misty, commissioners, and Nita. All in favor say aye. 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 <coughs> so you want to do the resolution yeah, first? Yeah. Okay, I'll make a motion. We adopt resolution 2014-9 as a resolution appointing an interim emergency management coordinator for staff of County, Kansas. <laughs> Oh, yeah. that out. That's <laughs> my, was my question that no one answered. Me. I agree. Strike the interim. I'll say <laughs> striking the interim. Pardon. Okay, what's the number of that? Okay, we have a motion and a second to pass resolution 2014-9 to make Doug Brown the Stafford County Emergency Management Coordinator. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed no. Motion carried. I make a motion that that salary be a thousand dollars per month. Second it. And we have a motion a second to make that Brown salary a thousand dollars per month. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed no. Motion carried. Yeah. Now, Doug, do you want to tell us what you're well, you know, from over the years, just from being, you know, in the system, being a member of all of them, you know, I think Stafford County's response has been pretty adequate for situations. I know one of the first things I'd like to do is maybe after we get the weather spotter meeting over with, which is also scheduled for Stafford County, I'll go over that in a moment, is, you know, maybe I'd like to try to have some town hall meetings in each town, because, you know, each town's been through some different circumstances. You know, in each one of those towns, like maybe have a law enforcement fire there, so we can see what the citizens think of their past responses or any issues they have. Because, you know, I mean, you have the state plan, which is pretty generic, you know, across the state. We may need to refine what we do in Stafford County just a little bit different, but I think citizens need input on that, you know, <clears throat> what our capabilities are and what they aren't. Mm -hmm. You know, what we expect of them, like in storms, stuff like that, and to see if we're all on the same page. And so that's something I would like to try, and I'd like to get that off the ground pretty quick, you know, around the weather spotter meetings, because we're getting into that weather time. I kind of examined the system from the outside a little bit after I first heard about this deal. <coughs> I think there's very little that needs to be changed as far as fire EMS and EM response. I mean, as far as people working together. I found one thing at the EOC I want to change, and that's moving of a map so they don't have to stand on the table to mark on it during events. And then also, I know the past EM was the only one trained actually in operation of radar. I, you know, I don't know how the county works. Bars I know, as Davin said, you know, he'd be interested in doing the training on it. But we also have tactical dispatchers, which I think are paid by the fire department. Responses I'd like to have one of them trained. Because just to be honest with you, you know, if crap's going on out there, pardon the language, but that's the way it is. You know, I'm one of those that like to be in the field. 
I want to be able to see it firsthand, be able to get to where I need to be firsthand and not be stuck in a building until I'm needed to be in there. So that's one of the ideas, and I'm sure there'll be more come up as I get in deeper to this and know what else there's out there that I haven't found out about yet. Uh, kind of a schedule of meetings. On March 17th is the LAPC meeting, and that's the one where it's kind of members from school districts, city governments and stuff. We need to kind of, we're going to be sitting down to discuss, you know, these forms that are coming up for this mitigation meeting. That'll be one of the things. And I think I saw a note from Nick that they are supposed to have somebody here to talk at that meeting. I might be wrong. I'll have to go through that with him in a little bit. On March 27th is the Kansas Pipeline Association for Pipeline Emergency Meetings, and that's already scheduled to be held here at the Stafford County Annex at 11.30 a.m. And the way I understood from that lunch will be served, so I guess if anybody's interested in coming to that, you can get a free meal. Um, April 21st is going to be the weather spotter meeting, and that's supposedly at the annex at 7 p.m. too. From Nick's notes, I found out that needs to be confirmed with the National Weather Service, so I'll be doing that. And then on April 25th is the big mitigation meeting, which the state will have some of their contractors that help write the state emergency plan or Stafford County's emergency plan here to discuss with school boards, city governments, anybody that wants to come. They want any and all people to go through this mitigation plan. This is for the next thing, you know, for anybody who wants to apply for grants or anything under FEMA projects. But that will kind of be a workshop that day. And then I was told yesterday, as soon as that's over with and some stuff gets put together, then there'll be a proclamation coming to you guys, whether to join that program, continue on with it. And then also each city government has to adopt their plan also. And that's all I can tell you I do know for right now. That is mitigation plan, that's a revision? Yes. Or is it? Yeah, a, no, it's updates it, to everything okay. that was done four years ago. It's a five-year plan? Yeah. Yeah, but it has to be. EOP, it's a living document. Okay. It's updated. Totally. Every, every five years, it's pretty much been totally updated. Uh, I tried to access it online. Nick gave me the username and password and said he'd had problems getting access to that. Well, I think a couple of telephone calls and I should be able to get that worked out. And we need to have access to our own plan. But that's where I'm at kind of right now. And I didn't know what your guys is, was asking for reporting to you. I mean, you want me here every week? No. A lot of it I can do it on email to need it too. If something comes up, I figure I can just email her and she can tell you guys if that's fine too. Quarterly, maybe? Quarterly. Quarterly. Okay. Or if something comes yeah, up, maybe. I'll be here to visit yeah. today. Yeah. Or if something comes up, yeah. of course. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, that's kind of where I'm at right now with what information I had so far. So. Yeah, thank you, Doug. You sound enthused. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> We'll reject that after a while. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> and, it, and it sounds good that I mean Nick's helping you out. And if you have any problems that way, let us know. There, there hasn't been any yet. Right. I don't think there will be. We're good. So I appreciate the opportunity, gentlemen. So. Yep. Thank you very much, Doug. Robert, Tom, you guys got anything to? No, I think we were here for more sports this morning. Okay. <laughs> Devin. Things are going good on our end. Good. So, a couple of small issues from last week, but we'll take care of that. So, let's put it this way: we had an eventful trip to uh, speak last week. We went to get a five-ton fire truck and didn't make it back. Oh, it was. But good thing is, is <laughs> all we got all we got stuck with was a hundred forty-six dollar service call. So. And talking with uh, Davin has been in contact with uh, the guy up there at Speaker from uh, Surplus. He said, we understand, no problem, we'll, we'll get it. If we can't fix it, we will scrap it, we'll find you guys a new truck. So they're holding our check, everything. So yeah. we have no ties to any trucks right now. So, so how far did you make it from? We made it to exit 313 on I-70, cool. which would be the Manhattan exit. So which was, I mean, we thought about just going to Manhattan, but I thought it was a good exit too. I really didn't want to spend my night up there, so. Was it smoking? No, actually what happened is, I think we got some uh, water and fuel. And so we had a guy come out and change fuel builder for us, put some house decent treatment in it. And we're working fine, and we can give it a little gas just to make sure we can get stuff solid through. And the starter smoked for some reason. So, and my understanding, that was a new starter. Green new starter. And so the guy at Surplus was, said some very, very choice words that we won't repeat. 
but uh, was going to do some uh, butt chewing and see what happened. So, oops. But I mean, other than that, it was a good looking truck. I mean, it would definitely serve our purposes, so that's for sure. So, so uh, that's all we got. Uh, other than that, things are running pretty smooth. So, good. Good. Just need tires, do you? Uh, no, it didn't need tires. Well, we were going to swap some tires around. So.
tell me what he does exactly for the fire guys. I know he does their vouchers, and mm -hmm. so, so we'll be changing this sum. And I could I could send this to Doug too and have him. What do you think? See, yeah. his job description now is he's the director of fire. Who? Yeah. He's an assistant no. director. It just says assistant director. director. Yeah. It's what? And Steve made him this, so. Okay. I mean, it kind of feels. But we need to put the three disciplines in there because, um, or maybe we need to spell them out more. Well, mm -hmm. we yeah. we need to identify the three disciplines. Right. And he's dad is supposed to be getting back with me on that. He's the assistant director to Misty, really, on this. Well, that's what we need to. to EMS. We need to yeah. change. It doesn't. He's not the assistant director of the emergency management mm -hmm. planning department. Or no. Emergency management services. To me, that's Misty. Misty's EMS. So to me, he would be Misty's We need to put all three the, departments on here. There's yeah, some all three yeah, that needs to be yeah, done on this, okay. but I want his input before I do yeah, it. Just want to do it. One more. One more. He report to, I guess, all three. Um, yeah. Yeah. I know that. But. Okay. All right. Okay. Maybe do Rather that. than one person I'm wearing three hats. Which was in the past. Now we have three people wearing one and, hat. And Davin kind of assists them. We do have one person wearing three hats as the assistant. Right, right. right. Because he's out there in the rest. Right. Right. There's nobody right. else out there now. Right. I mean, we went from four stationed out there to two stationed out there. If he'd get unhappy, we'd be probably three. Yeah. I'll make a motion we accept these tactical corrections. Second thought. Okay, we have a motion and a second to approve the tax roll correction. All in favor say aye. 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 We have a second to Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Approve the minutes from the third February 12th meeting. I'll second. Okay, we have a motion and a second to approve the minutes from the February 12th meeting. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, no. Okay, we have a motion and a second to approve the minutes from the February 12th meeting. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, no. Motion carried. What do you got, Jeff? Not a whole lot. Okay. It's been pretty fast and curious. That's why we like it. I yeah. yeah. marked off our list. I will take that off your list. Thank you. I already have. Okay, and remember the meeting at the extension office starts tonight okay. that uh, whatever it was that um remember we signed up oh, for yeah. where's yeah. my list? I won't be able to make that. Right. Community Board Leadership Series, 6 what to time? 8. Six to eight. Tomorrow, or tonight and tomorrow, and then next Wednesday and Thursday. So. Now, any, any or all of us could show it. You have one seat. One seat. We paid for, you have to, you, we paid for one seat. Yeah. Okay. Are you on go click? I can't, I gotta bang the gavel that night. Tonight. What about tonight? Tonight. It's tonight and tomorrow, and then next Wednesday. I can't. I, I can't tomorrow. Yes, I can. I can do it tonight. You tonight and tomorrow? It's the 19th, 20th, 26th, and 27th. All right. You go tonight, I'll go tomorrow. Is that all right? Yep. Yeah. And he can go the next two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> next week. All right. I'll check my schedule. So check your schedule. And I will. In. And so that is in block and man. I will. Call. Call the alert. Say I can't make it. <laughs> okay. I have to initial all these. Are you in recess? recess? Yes. We're still in. Okay. Yeah, we're going to go initial all the these. Yep. How's your baker's dozen? No. Yeah, they, they, uh... <laughs> I like that. That's, that's, I, people buying bars. <laughs>
What what did you do with Mr. Farr? Oh, he got probation. He so. probably will not last. In my guess. So I need to stay off 4th Street for a while. Well, he's back in club now with his mother. <coughs> but that's how he gets to 4th Street. Well, uh, if, right. if he lives in club now, he, he most likely uh, uh, it is. Uh, I'll use the polite term, a scrapper. And then the more everybody in the club that seems to deal in used metal. <laughs> yeah, that chair belongs up there. That's what he was even doing when he was driving back to the room. And I know there are some who did want to be able to do it as well. But there are some who are not. That's pretty much how I'll leave it. What makes you think they'll be back in for sure? Just got to screw it. He was always pretty uh, proper, remorseful. I mean, he kind of had a play with system. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's not his first time in the court. No. Page six, uh, number K, uh, letter paragraph Q says the county cooperating in a regional solid waste management plan may withdraw from such plan only when it's got these two criteria. Suffice this? Because I mean, that's basically our agreement for us all the ways. Mm 
Well, the the point of, of the it's it's for managing solid waste and reducing solid waste. Plan for doing so. What's this cost to do this? Uh, five thousand. Five thousand. We're basically looking about a grand a year. Because they're told that it's twenty. That's all. And what Terracon told me that you know you can the reason we belong to a, a, a group of them is to help split the cost, offset the cost. Uh, he said if you you could go off on your own, have your own plan, but the, I said then you're incurring all the cost of having the plan put together. And have you guys ever seen the five-year plan? I've never seen. It. I can get you a copy of it. Uh, you get a cold weekend if you want to sit down and look through it. Uh -huh. That flick gives you something to look through. <laughs> but basically, I mean, it's uh, it's goals and uh, ways of going about implementing these goals to reduce waste. Uh, tells you it gives you population of each city, the amount of waste generated from each city, and. Uh, it gives you, it's, the questionnaires I filled out, they're, they're it's kind of tough because you're, you're looking at uh, trying to estimate the amount of waste that you're going to produce whatever, 10 years in advance. Well, if you were storm free, those 10 years, be easy. I'm oh, sure it would be a lot easier to predict when they saw the waves. But one storm, well, that oh, yeah. estimate all the way. Yeah. I mean, as far as waste reduction, I mean, we're, our recycle program is about, it's what we're doing about the most you can do. You know, other than. Other than burning it, this would be nothing. <laughs> so, can you send your money in and not be able to leave? So, we can watch it. Well, it doesn't stay in here. I mean, it's, but you have to be able to do it. Which, I mean, really, I mean, we've, we've gone several times. Yeah. Now. Well, I noticed in the minute, in the meeting minutes that. Uh, Basically, they, they, they appoint. Yeah. They sit there and they appoint members, chairmen, and right. Well, and then Ford County had been talking for the last three years of getting a tire splitter. And I see they finally got one. Yeah. So <laughs> there's, it doesn't move very quickly, through, but, but it's just, it's two hours. Are the positions filled by the administrators or filled by the commissioners? Yeah. The members of the, well, some of the, the some five counties or well. within each county. Yeah. And it's and Elam has been chairman for I don't know how many years and and that seems But he's like, doing a fine job. Yes, he is. <laughs> I'm glad he's on board. Sounds like uh, good place to get a job. <laughs> so some of that's the city. States in there that you know for um, the organization each county should have five members. And, um, five, 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 nine, Troy Wright, Maxwell, we lost Jim Smith, and I don't remember either of that five. Called and said that uh, 
he, City of Maxwell went with him on, on Waste Hall. Yeah. With him? Yeah. Well, nicely. Yeah. Yeah. nicely. Yeah. He said uh, Stafford and Kent Young went to Maxwell. We went to Stafford County. And uh, Marvin had some ideas on recycling. He wanted to come single stream recycling. He wanted to run by me. So I had a memory of the effort that. Once I meet with him, find out what he's on the table. And, and okay. I didn't know St. John decided. Yeah, they decided. Kind of and what are they doing? Staff. Staff. Yeah. You need this resolution signed. Yes. The recycling right now is, um, um, unfortunately, I'm behind. I'm two weeks behind. Uh, we're when I get 42 boxes in a semi-loaner Senate threat for the last two months, I've been given not even half the amount of boxes back. And the problem is where they get their boxes, they're short, short of them. So I'm basically only able to get one trailer a week done for all my boxes. Because it takes quite a few boxes to keep in the building. Done. And it got to the point to where I mean, I went around to each trailer, was jumping in the bins, and stomping it down, trying to make room. And once they're full, if somebody comes to a trailer, a building, a box of school, they're not leaving. I had cardboard stacks seven feet tall in the building. So I just shut the building down. That didn't work. They built right out in front of the building. <laughs> Leave it. I mean, they come down there with it, they ain't going back. So, I mean, I don't know if you guys have had any complaints. But I've, I'm, I, just yesterday, I mean, I'm down to four boxes now, and uh, I dumped staff for trailer yesterday, and uh, I filled 11 boxes, and after I got them full, the plate, I, I was late getting the dump yesterday, because by the time I got Stafford dumped and got the trailer back, came back, you cannot leave that building sitting full boxes, or they'll cover you, they'll just pile you up. It's been pretty busy. Uh, until I, I, until I get an ample supply of boxes, I'm going to be behind. Yesterday I had merchandise call, I had the uh, restaurant Stafford call, I had uh, Brandon called me. I didn't get it dumped this morning. Um, and uh, let's see what it's called. I mean, it's we just have to, uh, like getting those extra deals done. I'm just going to wait until I get some boxes. These boxes you're saying, are they about like 64 cubic foot boxes? Yeah. Fair enough. I think it takes a fork to mm -hmm. And I've had, in a time or two, I've run down there, you know, I mean, as they get to bail, you know, when I bring in 42 boxes, it takes them about three or four days to get some of them bailed up, then I can run, I'm going to have to run down and pick up just to get boxes. I'll make a motion to adopt resolution 2014-10. A second. Okay, we have a motion and a second to adopt resolution 2014-10. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, no. Motion carried. What happened to Terry's truck? <laughs> you see all the bags scattered on the ground up? And there's people calling and we're aye. not happy with that at all. The one he's been driving or the one he broke he down? Dumped, I don't know. He dumped a whole load of trash bags just right up there north of his shop. Mm -hmm. Between him and Green. And then the bed that rolled off the old truck was clear full too. That white bed sitting down on the ground, they said it's clear full of trash too. And the, he dumped that out there the night before the big wind. Yeah. Well, he dumped the trash truck in there. Yeah. yeah. I heard it now. I don't know. It's the rumor. I just heard it caught on fire, so he just went out there and dumped it. Something caught it on oh, fire. Mm -hmm. <coughs> I heard that they had a pile back there before and mysteriously caught on fire. A whole pile. Well, this whole pile. Because they were getting on it to get it cleaned up. It looked like a pretty good mountain still. Yeah. So, I can't believe we dumped that. I suppose if it's on fire, they don't have a lot of trouble. Okay. You don't look very young. No, but not. Uh, 
so we need to plan on the 13th of March. If you want to go. I said we sent our resolution with the check. <laughs> Miss the chicken fry. Miss the chicken fry. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's about what an hour and a half, two hour meeting in Arabag. Close to the scene, though. Yeah. What day is that? Uh, Thursday. Thursday. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Daylight savings <laughs> time starts tonight. You guys bowl it over and let me know. I'm going to be able to go. If you don't go, I won't go. <laughs> I don't. I'm pretty sure I won't. Oh, so they an hour. And what you read there, Joe, yeah, is that the same as like it's required? Yeah. 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 You, you know, well, I, I can like give you the whole story of the <laughs> background of all this stuff. You're going to go. <laughs> the county got to have its own dump for garbage. Mm -hmm. And starting in the mid 90s, they decided that they being a can't can't part of the health and water decided that there had to be too many dumps. So basically they, they said you cannot have an all purpose dump unless you have a C and D little dump. And you have to have a designated location for your non C and D stuff. In other words, they were they have each county uh, funnel trash into a larger Landfill, such as Saline County or Martin County, and you had to be <laughs> agreement or contract with those counties. Kind of interesting <laughs> how we ended up with Ford County. I just changed it up. I would have think logically we would have ended up with Reno yeah. County. Mm -hmm. He's saying down there. We decided to middle. Now, even though you, you're committed by plan to go dump your stuff in okay, say, Saline so. County, such as Ellsworth yeah. County, that's where I'm Plan is why Ellsworth trash goes to Barton County dump because the private haulers who pick it up take it there. Nobody's ever made a On paper, all Ellsworth County trash is supposed to be sold in town. My trash will talk about nine CD. Ellsworth County has a CD landfill, and we also have a big composting area up there, and we have several county sponsored recycling. The subject of our Ellsworth County plan here, of course, I think we're leaving the recycling to the private hall. Yeah. 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 But no, in the 1990s, they decided that every county yeah. with its own landfill was not going to work. Well, too, and so you're putting MSW in the ground. So far, you have a line. We have. Yep. Yeah. And that's, that incurs quite a cost. Plus, you also have to have this is our last water wells. Yeah. Water, you know, not, not water so wells, but wells, you know, the draw the water the trash. Inspect it. Yeah, yeah, when does that three start? Here we yeah. start. I start because we have trash line. line. When's that contract? March. March. Elsewhere, County, C&D landfill. We have March. Well, we have March. We have three on site. Three on site. We'll see. still get the bill. We'll get the bill. Yeah. 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 Ye
So the whole thing is going to be a less bad tax dollars or whatever. She'll turn around and build out because part of that will be out. Yeah, you know, yeah, they don't feel like to sit back and wait for a bank or a county or something. But I thought it was a drill and you're stuck with it. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Reimbursement to the Stafford County trash. That will stop. March. This one will stop for yeah. March. Okay. I'm not so much an expert on drone fields and Stafford County. It might be playing nicely. Rattle off the list of stuff, but it's just, you know, the EPA is just working. Star Oil just outside of Hollywood. There's a little gas station just outside of Hollywood. It used to be a little mobile station. You still see the outline of the red Pegasus horse, you know. Uh, you get the text then? Yeah. No, it started on the map. Yeah, we got a little storage tank. I just skipped skip my uncle and didn't sign it. You did? Yeah. You don't have it. Yeah. Old grain elevators. Yeah, we can't old grain elevators. They're going to pay for the rest. 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 They're going to pay for the a lot more testing has been up to the elevator maintenance. Five grand. I thought that last there. week. Oh, that's like that's, that's something you have to that's have your stuff. Yeah. To have an elevator, you have to, for your insurance purposes, yeah. you have to have somebody who's responsible for the elevator. There.